Hello guys, I want to be create Web Security Academy contacts as my YouTube channel. So that means or I want to be uploading SQL injection, XSS, CSRF, SSRF, the all of things about the web security. But before we do this, we have to be understand Burp Suite. So in this video, we are going to be starting with Burp Suite and we are going to be all of us guys deep diving about the world of Burp Suite and then the before we have to be doing understanding intelligently Burp Suite, then we are all going to go for SQL injection, XSS, I mean, so SSRF, and uh, all of things here about the Web Security Academy. That the before we do this, let's doing the burp suits with all contacts. So in this video, we are all gonna be learning burp suits. Actually, to uh, we're gonna be working on the burp suit community edition, and then the, definitely the first thing we have to be understand proxy, repeater, and intruder, and then do another things, decoder, compile, logger, the all of things here, we are all going to be learning now. So there is no website that we have to be doing it for the YouTube video because of the, you know, is unethical good. So in this video, we are using again, try hack me burp seed contacts directly. I love try hack me about the like this learning path and the burp seed is really good contact on the uh, try hack me. Trust me. If you have the try hack me account, do it again with me. And if you have a no, the please create and try hack me and then that. <clears throat> Please join us guys and uh, in this video we are all gonna learn the burp seeds and how we can working with the burp seed academy is over here All right, so let's get starting So the before do this burp seed we have to be understanding how is burp seed working to, because in this tabs We are learning the burp seed the basics So the before the burp seed basics we have to be understanding what is burp seeds working now the truth introducing burp seed, a compromise overview the various tools available within the framework, detailed guidance of process installing burp seed on your system and navigating configuration with burp seed now in the steps, right? So, so now we have to be understand what is the burp seed. In essence, burp seed is a Java based framework designed to serve as compromise solution for Connecting web application penetration testing. It has become an industry standard tool for hands on security assessments of the web mobile application, including those that really on application programming interfaces like APIs. So, if you want to be working on the web security document, you have to be understanding first the APIs. So, Burpsy is working on this API documentary. And if you, if you want to be learning how the burp seed are working, listen here. Or if you don't want to, let's keep starting another minute on this video, okay? So, in this video, it's actually giving us burp seed professional, burp seed enterprise. You can use burp seed enterprise when you um, get a job at the, uh, you know, with a company. But in this video, guys, we are going to be learning here. Um, the Burpsy Community Edition, that means or we have a now work with this Burpsy Professional and Burpsy Enterprise. So, if you have money, you can buy the Burpsy Professional, but and if you are working at the company, you will definitely have to be used Burpsy Enterprise, right? So, this video, which edition of Burpsy run a server and provides constant for a target web application, and if you are um, to hear uh, reading all of things to hear, you will see that this is equal to burp suit enterprise, but this is not for us. All right, this is burp suit enterprise. Burp suit is frequently used when attacking application and mobile application. You can use a burp suit for the web application hacking and the mobile application hacking. So if you don't know how to use mobile application hacking with the burp suit, you just have to be listening packets with the burp suit. So basics. You can watch the video on the YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter. SSL Pining Bypass is definitely have to be using here Burp Suite again. But in this video, we are just checking on the Web Security Academy. All right. So features of Burp Suite community, and then this is actually giving some uh, idea about uh, Burp Community. For example, here a proxy tab. 
inch reader, repeater, calibrator, sequencer, and what is it? For example, proxy is the verb proxy is the most renowned aspect of verb set. It enables interception and modification of request response while intersecting with web application. So the verb suite is proxy tabs is over here is just working on those interception methods and then it's just giving here the request and the set method is over here for example if you are trying here the get able the intercept interception methods is able and then go here fox proxy and the turn on it and then give you a controller r on your system it will definitely give you request on as the proxy tab is here directly so this is two basics about the verb suite about the proxy the proxy meaning is we are just using for that it's definitely i'm <coughs> sorry about it get and request method is over here so the other important things we have to be analyzing on this video is repeater Another well-known feature repeater allows for capturing, modifying, and resending same request multiple times. This functionality is the particularly useful when crafting payloads through the trial and error like an SQL injection I got it before if you remember. Our testing functionality of and particularly useful when crafting payloads through trial and error is like something like that. So let me tell you guys how it's the repeater working. So if you you have to be get the request get a uh, method at the request method on the proxy tab, but it's take your too much because you have to be getting your interception method is open and the uh, turn on your Fox proxy. And if you say controller order here, you cannot get a, too many tabs so here is like that. So you have to be using here the repeater method. And how you can repeater method is working here. You just have to be come over there on your proxy tab. And then it's definitely you have to be giving here. Let me show you controller plus R to here. Definitely we have to be doing. And uh, let me click the controller and R, and it will send it this method on the repeater tab. And if you say here intercept is own and the uh, turn off the Fox proxy, you will your request add to here, guys, on the repeater tab is directly. So if you send it on response, it will definitely give you here what is this get method on the with this request to response to here and you will understand how it's working you can check at the web page source about this what actually web application you are using for the gathering request method is it so the another important thing is intruder we are going to be learning here the intruder so actually detail it guys because it's generally hacker you have to be using intruder on their on their web application security is a repeater and intruder this is really important things we are just actually checking here repeater and intruder and I, i'm going to be showing you decoder computer but it's not important uh, than of us all right Intruder is despite rate limitation of Burpsy community. Intruder allows spraying endpoints which request. It's commonly utilized for brute force attacks or fuzzing endpoints. And the, the you know is a cyber security meaning as brute force attack and fuzzing. For example, if you're starting on your computer network mapper, it's actually is like a fuzzing or Burpsy uh, as a brute force attack for the port. And if you are starting on your computer, there's some server to go buster or the another thing's a tool for director scan. It's like a fuzzing. It's like a brute force attack. So we have to be analyzing here the intruder tab so they so detail it because of what a cyber security meaning is fuzzing. It's brute force attack right so we are gonna be all running here guys as i'm um, the proxy repeater and intruder and you will definitely know how the decoder computer and sequencer is here working it's too basic you can just go for the decoder on the cyber shaft definitely all right which burp set feature allows us intercept is request between ourselves and the targets is definitely we are doing it before on this proxy tab right so this answer is equal to proxy is it which burp tool will we use brute force login form and it's intruder because we are talking about before all right now it's how to installation though uh downloading burp set community edition to here so uh, let me sh show you guys how you can actually uh install on your system burp set community edition you just have to be go here burp set like it. it's definitely and then community edition you just have to be go there 
and then you have to be definitely click here the double button is like there double button and it's on install on your Kali Linux directly you have to be run it like um, so let me show you at the CD home and Dublin's like here and then you will see there actually guys burp suite coming the Linux dash shell and then you just have to be give it is burp suite coming the Linux with dash shell and then you have to be starting burp suite on your system and then go here Fox proxy like here and then you just have to be giving care Fox proxy again it's like there and uh, you know we have to be adding here and then when you are turn up turn up the burp here and you just have to be going there http burp with this definitely intercept the zone and then you will see their certificate for the burp c community edition you just have to be install it and then go your settings here directly and then go here certificate view certificate is over here and the importing with you you have to be importing here c search certificate here directly so it will give you is definitely guys to um, the using burp suite directly and so you can watch the other video for the installing burp suite this is too basic you can install in burp suite so with on you so this is basic time for the burp suite and uh, um, how to install it all right so the dashboard about us is giving here the how we can using some burp suite there's an task tab and then the event long app zero is over here and the issue activity you can sew it like there so how we can actually is um, the uh, learning f um, actually teach us how we can using um, at the dashboard for the um, burp suite but you just have to be checking it what is task event log and issue activity is over here its task is many allows you define backgrounds task the burp suite will perform while using application in burp suite community the default live possible corral um, the task which automatically logs page visited the serve um, sufficient or purposes in this module burps it professional offers additional features like on damage scans and the event long is what's the meaning so this uh, answer is equal to this definitely even long so you just have to be no understanding here this is two basic things we have to be checking it now navigation all right it's actually um, uh give it us how we can use it shortcut to here you just have to be go there so let me show you how we can using it so let me intercept the zone is over here is definitely and then give me time controller r and then for example is a control shift d is giving us a dashboard is over here if i'm gonna say here controller shift d it's giving us the dashboard part controller shift i it's giving me to uh, intruder part controller shift or it's giving me the repeater path is over here but if you want to be sent your request on the repeater for example you have to be with uh, without the shift controller r here is definitely like that so let me intercept the zone in again and turn off the map here here and it's asking us this control shift p is what's giving us it's giving us proxy tab is over here directly so let me write in here proxy tab for or as for all right this is for task seven is for options it's definitely you have to be understanding your options here uh, directly and uh, it's actually how is the verb suite working for the with options so you have to be understanding here because of what and the for the less and the less things about this video because we are starting here brute force attack with um the corrected with um the secure with this csrf and you have to be understanding here directly guys this is two uh, important things to hear okay so before dialing the burp proxy let's explore the available option for configuring burp suite there are two types of settings, global settings, also known as the user settings and project settings here. The global settings is, these settings affect and try Brupsley installation, you're applied every time you start application. They provide the baseline configuration to Brupsley environment. And the project settings, these settings are specific current project and aptly during the session. However, please not start burp to common edition. This is pro saving projects. 
we had to be doing all of things to hear one of one is like here definitely so the before actually is uh, for the option on the verb set you just have to be go here the settings tab on the right corner and then you will see there you're actually here guy and how it's the verb set working you can check it all of things to here at this the right corner settings tab so you can actually um setting here proxy intruder uh, repeater sequencer and the project the sessions are the all of things to here for example we are definitely checking here the session because the session is really important will gonna be really important for us for example if you want to be out uh, get a brute force attack for the csr app you just have to be checking here something about the macros on the session tab in which category you can find the cookie jar and if we're checking the session this cookie jar is over here is that directly so this answer is equal to sessions all right in uh, which base category can for update subcategory with control verb state behavior all right um we are just looking for um uh, to behavior of the tabs is tools is proxy intruder is over here but there is no i know network no it's not network so it at the suite tab rest api so this answer is equal to suite what is name of subcategory is which allows you can check kai beddings for shortcuts on the verb suite is hot case you can use hot case for the shortcut is definitely if we uploading clean and tls certificates can we overwrite the per project basics definitely yes all right so now is introduction about the burp site you can check it here and how is burp site working so you just have to be go there now it's time to be working with burp site all right so let me start in here there's a some machine for us we just have to be start this machine in here definitely and in this for how the burp suite is working you just have to be go here turn on the burp and the turn off the intercept is on is over here and if you're click it like there and for example if you go to the http history you will see here definitely different things for the understanding about this website you can check it like that is definitely like here all right you just have to be go there is a target or the proxy and if you want to be check it the http history is over here you have to be go proxy tab under the http history tab is over here and then you can go here the target and uh, for example if your target is try hack me you can actually analyzing all of things here like that the, with the file and the directory so let me complete it and then we are now how we can you working with proxy and uh, at the intercept and http story and the target is is over here is definitely all right and the, this tabs is how we can actually um the settings the fox proxy we are already know with how it's working and uh, we got some here ip addresses so let me go this ip addresses and then in this ip addresses which web service is working on this this is or new target and uh, we are doing all of things the off or job is over here for this target guys okay so we have to be now is gotta capture the flag is over here the target tab in the burp suite provides more than just control over the scope of your testing it consists of three sub tabs sitemap the sub tab allows up to map out the web application we are targeting in three structure every page that visit the while the proxy is active will be displayed on the sitemap so us actually is just giving us a sitemap is over here and how is working we are just working on the sitemap for the look into the directory and this, there's how many files is over here and then issue definition is a scope settings is over here you can actually setting but now let me go for the challenge and then explain at the challenge here take a look around inside of http at this web, web service definitely url we will be using a lot throughout the model visit every other page and linked it on the home page then check your site map at endpoint should your be being very unusual so we have to be understanding here at the burps is guys 
you have to be check at all of things the uh, the at this URL all of things the directory file or the tab or the redirected to which URL so is the burp site is definitely is giving us there's some different director we have to be finding and that it will actually giving us the flag is over here so now before starting using burp site, you have to be understanding if we want to be use burp site, you have to be actually click all of things here this definitely you with this request method so you just have to be using your intercept zone and then um, turn on the burp and then for example uh, do we have to be starting with about the intercepted about this url and uh, let me forward it and uh, for example so let me go here for example here contact for it's it's have to be giving us this contacting here for example like that and then um, and uh, let me say here forward and then um, contacting here over here again about us it have to be giving us something forward it and then getting here the above page and then too many things is definitely so let me click on the products and before do this we have to be forwarding it and then and the another things let me click on the support and then ticket is actually redirect at the ticket page is over here directly and the best in hush thing and if you go here the target tabs and then click on the methods you will see their different directory but we cannot see different directory to here let me check it all of things to here email filter and javascript file is over here exax and css assets and then about thing here so let me using different proxies over here intercept the zone again what about um forward and then uh, what about the socket it's giving us uh, to hack me i don't know what this mean so intercept the zone again products and then uh, forward here support we have to be actually here guys yes and then if we are click the old tabs about this website it will definitely redirect you some different directory is over here and then if you are check this directory here directly before the intercept is out of and turn off the fox proxy and then you will get there definitely here guys the flag is over here so in this challenge we are understanding we have to be check at all tabs about the website the before starting our web security challenge so it will definitely giving us some different directory for the redirecting for us so that you will get here so maybe you will get her some different and important information about the website so we are now here just we have to be actually um, click on all tabs about the web server all right this is just burp suite basics guys and if you have if you know there's something about the burp suite please skip the skip here all right the burp suite browser and how we can use it so if you don't want to be working with burp suite and then the setting on your computer and the getting here to turn on the fox proxy you can using open browser is over here directly so if you are checking here for example the before the the intercept is on and go here the browser about the burp suite for example let me check my name it will definitely giving us the here again you don't have to be timing here and the fox proxy so this means you can use open browser on your system here directly so you, if you want to be using open browser on the fox proxy you can use it or you can use or now the, um, the search engine is over here directly so this is actually giving us how we can using scoping all right at the here the scope or different things to here but this is two basic things you can have to be actually understanding about it so let me go here the back and the proxy https and then if we are remember we got the before we are just adding it on the certificates before ads for the what we are 
actually la stash la say cert the certificate is over here we are actually uploading it before so there is no meaning we have to be again to reading so in this challenge we are um, checking for xss right so we have to be go here the ticket directory on this url and then it will actually giving us example attack for the have a look at the setup configure or proxy is here directly so the before do this we have to be checking it the let go on the repeater or forwarding it here all right we have to be forwarding it so um is definitely is how to be checking here and then uh, with the request capture the proxy and then now we challenge from the above and the controller review here directly all right we have to be intercept the zone of our burp site and the turn on the uh, here guy the fox proxy and giving the for the email test task and the type your here is task and then we get in here as actually email and content um, the value about this website in here directly so now we can change this value the, with this red one and then we can forward them off the about website and it's actually it's how we and um, xss working but please waiting for the xss video it will take our time the five or six hour i will uploading SQL injection before and then xss payloads and xss vulnerability yeah, at my youtube channel and then you will see there is definitely really cool things guys all right so and then it's actually giving us please use it how to understanding here guy to xss payloading here so you just have to be starting with script alert you like it but if it's there and the email test is um to here <coughs> the xss payload and you will see here directly is over there right so intercept the zone now and now you will see there is successful xss is working here all right we got in here the xss vulnerability and then checking this labs directly congratulations thank you all right guys now we are i think understanding to burp suite basics so clearly so what we are learning here and then how we can working with burp suite and then the, you have to be click on the offer directory on the offer link or over the url at your on the target web server and then you have you can check it the xsr or axial injection method at the working on this on the fox and the burp suite and the other things you had your understanding here directly so if it's okay let's skip the for repeater the most in definitely important things about the burp suite you have to be actually guys understanding repeater tab really intelligently as repeater is literally saved your life okay so let me go burp suite repeater tab is over here now time to be start the machine and the check the repeater um, lapping here is so directly so repeater tab is really important guys all right so please actually here guys um believe me so repeater is really important if you want to book hunter you have to be doing repeater so well in this room we will explore that once the capabilities of burp suite framework by focusing on the burp suite repeater module building upon the foundational knowledge cover at the burp basics room we will delve into powerful features of the repeater tool you will learn how to be manipulate a recent capture request and we will explore the various options the functionalities available in this exceptional module Throughout the, the room, the, we will provide the practical examples, including real-world exercise. Is definitely we are including real-world exercise to solidify your understanding of the concept discussed. All right, if it's over, um, the target IP is ready for us. So let's go. What is the repeater? So. 
we are working on the repeater is here so let me click all the tabs to here and the how is the repeater is um, this work and we have to be before using burps and repeater let's familiarize ourselves with the purpose and functionality is over here and how is the burp seat working here the first thing you have to be giving your request request this could be here is definitely and the second one is you can request controls for example to here you can go back or you can go back or you can go the actually add the feature and request and response with layout pally options is over here you can understanding we are or have to be our output it have to be on the response and the tab is over there and there is an or target and the inspector is most important things to hear inspector we are gonna be learning here the inspector too many things guys because the inspector is really important so let me give the here or target IP addresses the example here um, this is the really important let me intercept the zone here and definitely and the turn on the burfox proxy and controller R why I cannot get in here nothing I don't know let me turn off here intercept the zone and then I'm actually waiting for the it and then uh, let me giving it uh, to go for standard repeater or request this here directly guy and then if you are sent this it will definitely give the output about this website in here directly so this is all requesting here and you can actually check in your requesting uh, with the inspector to attributes and the body parameters cookies headers and then query parameters is selection is over here for example or request attributes is over here is get and the slash is you can check it here and the headers is this is or headers or host name and the user agent is over there accept language and then accept encoding connection and upgrade injector requesting here directly and then you can check it here the uh here we got response header directly so this is all what's our attributes and our headers and our response headers and request headers is over there which section you was more into to control over the request is definitely inspector you can check it here the more um good into a control over the here guard the request is you can check it on the um, inspector you can use inspector like here or like there is I will definitely using it like in the right page so you will understanding inspector and how the request and response method is working on the repeater tab now we can go basic usage about to, um, the repeater here directly so it's actually we know application interfaces look like at this point but we can effectively utilize it and then once a request has been captured proximal you can check at the shortcut is controller R and if you are let me using here the call the counter proxy and again so if you are checking here the all right doing all of things here again oh my god so what's what's wrong I don't know So let me check intercept zone again to turn on the Fox proxy and then you will see there it's actually and um, to hear guys teach us how we are can using its controller or with the shock card and then it will definitely send in your request on the repeater here directly. So what's the other things? What the target and inspector section? No, we are living information. Yes, we got any information before. And then how to can actually connection is open here or keep alive and how the connection is working here, right? Definitely. And the which view will populate when sending request from proxy middle repeater and when you or send your request from proxy the repeater, it's actually sending a request tab. And if you are sending your request to response, it will be um the showing us this um to here like here is definitely all right message analysis toolbar all right message analysis toolbar is over here and how we can use things or response for example or response if you want to be showing your response like pretty you can using a raw and the hacks editor and render here directly is so, uh, could be your different things here you can check it here for example if you want to be check at the hacks editor on your response you can check in here 
or the raw metal it will definitely give you like the things about the we are generally using here the pretty metal because of what because the pretty metal it is giving us the so more beautiful things is here directly so which option allows us to utilize the patches will be up on the word preserve is over here is um, equal to render all right it's actually you can check it what's the meaning or pretty raw hacks or render method is over here now we are understanding here the inspector directly right the inspector <coughs> inspector is supplementary feature of the request and response we have in the repeater module it is also used to option as visually organized breakdown of the request and response method as well as for experimenting to see how the change mode is using higher level inspector effect the equilibrium of versions inspector can be utilized both of proxy and repeater module in the bot instance you still be new presenting a list of companies with the request and response method in here so the before that is i think we have to be got this url and the check the analyzing of this url in here is directly so it feel is definitely giving our Ricky Ashley method is here, right? And how is to be using some the uh you know a subdomain is like here. And the which section is packed with specific post request is equal to body parameter. You can check it here, body parameter. Yes. Where is the body parameter? Is the request by the parameter is over here. As um equal to body parameter all right now it's time to be check it the um the practical example here repeater is practically well suited to for tasks recurring repetitive sending of or similar requests typically is monitor of modifications this is practically is useful for active such as manual testing ascal injection vulnerabilities to be covered the forecoming task, attempting to bypass the web application firewall filters or adjusting parameters on the form submissions. So capture the request on this URL in the proxy module and send it repeater. And we got it before if you remember. Send the request from repeater, you should see HTML source page your result response view. But using inspector of or manual if you prefer and the header code is flag authorized and this the giving her the true is over there so we have to be giving here the flag authorized means is true is over here right so if we are checking here flag authorized true is over there it has to be giving us the here the um the flag but because but it's, it it will definitely is not working here directly because of what we are have to be check this um if or the proxy is open why is not working i don't know i don't know what's where is the intruder now go here so if i'm gonna say here controller i i don't know where is the Oh my god, it's not working, I don't know. So let me go here, the Burpsy Community Edition again. And uh, then about us. Alright, let me go here, the repeater here. Turn off. And then you just have to be checking here with this URL, get HTTP method in here like that. And then it's giving us to here. The way if we are checking the flag at reddit true it will giving us the flag here but i the way we have some issue is over here guys where is the intruder i don't know where is the intruder um settings intruder uh I don't know where is the repeat intruder. Um, I really don't know. Oh my gosh, really? 
Anyway, now we are checking challenge again repeater here, right? So, in the previous task, we demonstrate the usage of the repeater by adding header sending requests. This server is illustrative to example for utilizing repeater. Now it's time for straightforward challenges here directly. To begin, make sure intercept is disabled from your proxy module navigator here. All right, let me go to the production here, open link in new tab. And these are giving us this production here. The when you are click the or the products is over here. This is giving us a with directory with the number. And for example, if you're checking here, the 65 is definitely give you not fun in here like that. So observes a numerical endpoint with this products and example like um, the products and the tree. The objective is validate endpoint, confirm it, existence, the number you wish, navigate, entering it, valid integer. However, consider what the might occur if the endpoint not um, edge quality validated here directly. So enable intercept is again and capture request for numeric products proxy middle to forward the repeater and see if you can server this five internal server to extra inputs what is the flex you are seeing here. So we are have to be checking or the again or on or checking the at the proxy tabs here. So for example, if you are click at it, it will definitely giving us to here get products for but we are just in checking here guys looking for 500 internal server error to here for the checking it with repeater so if you're sending it it will definitely give you here here the html coding like that but if you're checking here for example at this row method and then let me check in here the zero it will definitely giving us this 404 there's no fun error and if you're checking here again for example is 100 is um definitely is giving us 404 so or actually is um less um the number is over here is a five it's giving us a product the cloud storage is over here but the what about the minings of one it will definitely give you here the five internal server error is over here so that means our or um tap here is equal to minus i so this is or what have to be collected here and um, capture the flag here directly so now we are understanding here the something actually hiding their website accurate a uh, web security and the web server at the web server like a number uh, for the and uh, you have to be actual numerical order the with over over here with the products for example at this directory so you have to be check it for the all the products is over here and you will see understanding here there is no more at the five and if you are checking the minus one, it will definitely is giving you the answer. So you have to be understanding here, and um, you have to be check it all the tabs on the old directory with the different for the understanding and the for the um, the finding the five hundred internal server error is like here. All right. So this is our extra mile challenge is over here. Now we are doing here Askle injection tab like that. And then before we do this, we have to be go to different tab is here, right? So what is our new target tab? Our new target tab is equal to HTTP about two here. Let me open link and, and it will get definitely giving us this employer about this web server is all of you person. So if you're checking here, the for example, the one, you will see here nothing and a five is using the Larson homes or checking the zero it's um no untries found with this id at the zero and then you will see there the five founder right so if you're checking here the minus one is nothing to here you can see is like here so we have to be go here the two again and then give it on the proxy tab here directly let me intercept the zone here and then turn on the verb and then let me click on the um the enter and it will giving us the request on this proxy tab so we have to be using here controller or again for the sending repeating or request and turn off the fox proxy and you will see there now time to be actually here guys how we can use it so 
For example, if you remember here, we got a before giving here the zero and it's giving us a five internal methods here directly. So you have to be understanding as five internals method on the sum directory, but is not, not found with 404. You have to be understanding here, maybe could be here is different things directly. It's definitely if you are checking here is the HTML codes and then you will see there the how we they are using here five internal server is at the response method over the variables error which is shown and the query is like here. So for example, select first name, last name, PFP link is over here. So let me check in here the for example is two again. When I send it on the response if it's giving us how the their database is working and then I can actually here guys using for it and then checking her SQL injection methodings and how it's gonna be working here directly. Alright, so the before do this. The before do this, I think we have to be checked um, the five internals method again. So it will definitely giving us this 500 internal methods here directly is over there. So now we are checking on the about zero. So time to be understanding here guys. How is the SQL injection method in here? We have to be select the group connect concat column name and null 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 from information schema where the people is over here. And then this is for the payload for us. If it's giving us the here um they have the working um the databases of them all. So let me use in here like that, and it's definitely is over here about we are checking here ID, first name, last name, PFP link, role, show role, bio, and no notes as over there directly. So we are just now to is our select on the concat group concat and the word table name is people. And if I check it here, the ver is here ID is equal to one, for example, like here. So if I'm going to be sending it, it will giving us a gain to 500 uh, internal server. So let me check it, it like there it is. There is no more again working, but we are just have to be checked in the union select from the null of all that. So you will understanding here guys now how the SQL injection working on their systems and we found in here and then the another flag is like there definitely. So, what we are understanding on the repeater tab, we are understanding on the repeater tab how we can using here, for example, SQL injection at the, for example, extra mail challenge, and how you can check it the different the tabs to here, different metal to here, how we can add in here the address it about the flag, how we can check in the payload here, the two mana things we are understanding here. So this is the repeater basics. So you have to be check and um, explore your skills with the working like really hard. And then you will understand here the repeater so directly. So let me go here, the guys, intruder tab directly is over here is definitely. <coughs> so we have to be starting here, start machine with a burp suite intruder. So I don't know where is my the intruder tab is here. It's now there. Oh my God! This is... For example, if I'm gonna go here, controller I. No, we cannot go. So if I'm gonna be exit at burp stick comment edition and then burp. Oh, next, next or burp. There is no intruder, so if I'm gonna check and carry intruder, nope, there is no intruder, there is no gain. So we have to be checked it. I don't know how it's working, but we have to be, you know, guy, fix it. Uh, 
All right, we are gonna be here intruder room, but before do this, we have to be check at the intruder tab here. Project request intercept zone rule file extension. Yes. the intruder now there is no intruder at the tools oh my goodness anyway we have to be I think starting here attack box for um, you know to finish the video but I want to be used to attack box oh my god it's over here right yes <laughs> alright we found the terminate the machine alright we found our intruder here intruder settings Yes, here. All right, we found it here. Okay, uh, you are now how to be solving error now. All right, that is really cool. All right, the before starting intruder, let me visiting the or new target is here. It's the same target, but with different IP address here. It's definitely. So. <coughs> Intruder is a burp suite built in the fuzzing tool that allows for automated request modification and repeat of the testing with the version at input values. By using captured requests, Intruder can send multiple requests with the slightly altered values based on the user definite configuration. It serves various purposes such as brute forcing login forms subsetting and username and password files with the values from a word list of the performing fuzzing attacks. Using word list task subs uh, directories and points of virtual host, intruder functionally is comparable is command line tools like vfuse or fifu. So however it's important not the while intruder can be used at the burp to common edition. It's really limited significantly reducing its speed and the complete the burp professional but we are not working on the burp pro professional so if you go here the intruder for example so let me check it here for example at the products no support contact um the products i think yes products and the login no is uh, at the support i think support login i think we have to be going on support Login. Yes, there's an or um, the login page is over there. So let me intercept this on here and I turn on the proxy proxy and I go here username and the password and then let me check in here the and the send a request at my proxy tab with interception method. And if I'm gonna click here the controller I, it will uh, definitely sending for us at the intruder tab is here directly. All right. So, so the in initial we've intruder present interface select or target and this will already be populated request has been sent from the proxy using controller I to right click send and send to intruder here directly. So you will see there the different tabs is this is our position and how we can use it with this intruder. This is our payload we have to be uploading our payload is over there. Resource poll you can actually check in a resource poll 
and then looking for the setting steps here for example is important things to hear grab match and if they are and then uh, checking cured error exceptional illegal invalid something like that and this this is actually unhide for you at the uh, on the uh, you know guys is the setting steps is over here as position the steps allows us select an attack type which we will convert feature task and configure where we want to be in their pillars in the request templating here directly at the payload tab so here you can select values or insert the position definite position tab we have various pilot options such as loading items from a word list is over here and you have to be uploading your word list is over here for the starting your brute force attack up table and then in which intruder tab we are different attack type to here you can check in your attack type at the position is over here there is a fourth attack type sniper battering ram pitchfork and cluster bomb is over here so this is the meanings or positions is over there def definitely now we have to be understanding how the position is work is over here is definitely when using burpsy intruder the perform attack the first step is examine the position no. with the request where were the insert or pellets this position informs the intruder about the location where our pilots will be interested as we'll explore an upcoming task is over here. Let's navigate the position tab is called your like here is definitely. And then the, we have to be sending our position tabs at the proxy to on this position tab from the proxy the intruder is over here. And then you have to be actually, guys, guy, notice the burps automatically attempts identify, but you have to be adding your, was like a dollar sign or different things, a payload marker is over here. So when you want to be actually starting here, brute force attack. For example, we have no idea about the password and username. So that means or we have to be starting here or actually here, guy, the payload marker at the username is password value is over here with this you can check at the payload marker how we can use it to check and like here is over there definitely so we have to be just checking on the payload position and then what symbol is and our symbol is for the you know guy the payload marker is actually is definitely is over here is like a dollar sign but there is no dollar sign and you can check at dollar sign the what um, the value you have to be starting here but first attacking like here definitely all right so this is actually and how we can be working with the position you just have to be checking the payload marker at the position tabs at like that with this add payload marker is over there All right, so now we are, if you are understanding position tabs is over here, you have to be understanding how we can working with the payload tab is over there directly. So you just have to be go here, the payload tabs, and then there you have to be understanding how you are understanding payload tabs here. At this tab about the payloads, payload says, you have to be checking your payload says, if you want to be actually here, guy, checking the username and password you have to be checking here pitchfork attack type and if you're checking here the payload and you can check it for the first one is like we are working on the username and for the second one you have to be go the payload set is two and you have to be actually loading here guy your password tags is over there definitely so the for the payload set is um the understanding here this tabs and the password tabs is our their understanding here the for this payload set is over here that's understanding this tabs here directly so you have to be understanding if you want to be working with this you have to be check it here pitchfork attack type is here for example so if we don't want to be using the payload tabs you just have to be actually um to the brute force attack the password you just have to be checking here sniper is over here and then they give it the payload marker at the password list is over here and then you have to be deleting this 
payload marker is over here directly. Alright, so the payload sets, the before building's payload sets, so it's actually how your the position taps the username is password is like is a working like it's like here definitely the payload sets is could be or is um the a cult is over here is definitely and the payload settings is the section provides options to select the payload type or payload sets like the seems like is over here so the which payload processing rule could be used at characters and the end of each payload and uh, you know um the in the set so we have to be go here again payloads and then the which tabs we have to be checking here is you just have to be checking here you know guys is adding here suffix and then now you have to be understanding to how the actually payloads working here and then if you're checking here the, your intruder tabs positions the attack type is sniper battering ram pitchfork and cluster bomb is over here now it's time to be understanding how the attack type is working here is definitely it's a sniper attack type is default is most commonly used attack type on the burpsy intruder now if you are gonna be hacker of the burpsy with the burpsy with the um the burpsy attacks with the burpsy you have to be using here guys actually sniper attack method is over here as a mostly and it's practically effective for single position attacks such as password brute force or fuzzing for api endpoints in a sniper attack, we provide a set of payloads which can be worked this range of numbers and intruder inserts each payload each definite position in the request. Let's refer our example template from the before. You have to be checked here the support login we got it before and the checking our username is password is like here is definitely like there you can check at it. So in this example, we have to be two position with this username as password body parameters in a sniper attack. Intruder takes each payload from the payload sets and substitute in the each definite position to turn. Assuming we are of the word, this is three word, burp suite and intruder, intruder like six circuits is over here. You can check it, username is equal to uh, burp and password is equal to exploited. So if you are want to be actually here guys, the request number is over here like um, the before though this is um, you're just checking into the receipt and intruder. For example, if you want to be guys here, um, the uh, brute force attack act, the password is changing like burp, sweet, intruder is like there. So you just have to be checking the one of them is all of things to hear and check it, it with the um, to hear with the sniper attack. And the sniper attack it has to be giving our number of words and number of positions is over here directly. So the for example at this question is giving us this request is what is request is equal to this. If you were a sniper forces like a request with us on the hundred words, how many requests will be suited and need to be complete attacks? Is our number of words is equal to a hundred words? And the number of position is over here. Is the username, password, and the suite is over here. So it's could be our and equal to it definitely is on 300 is over here. How many sets payloads will sniper accept for condition attack? It's definitely is equal to one because if you are checking here the sniper attack and then you will see there you can just payload the settings just one. If you are adding kill payload markers twice, you just have to be considering your attacks is just one consecutive attack for the you know with the sniper accepting is like here you know it's yeah it's it's too basic guys it could be all like that. Alright, the battering ram. The battering ram attack type to Brutsy intrus differs from sniper then places some payload in every position simultaneously rather than substituting to each payload into each position in turn. Let's refer to back previous example templates could be like here. And then the request number is could be your username is burp and the password in burp username is passwords could be like here. So you have to be understanding here how you can actually setting your the username password value at this position tab is like here is a cool pure checking like that and then it will definitely are as giving us to here like um so you have to be checking how they look like in your 
um, the payload position is over here. No, it's um, the, um, the yes, it's payload position is like here. So for example, you have to be check at it. For example, um, let me checking for the password is um, username is could be or for example the admin and the password could be or here password is equal to admins like here this has to be about the verb seat um the like position is over here is definitely all right so we are generally using your sniper method and the pitchfork method in here directly because the pitchfork method is we or can actually um, giving the brute force attack with this username and password here directly is over here guys. The pitchfork attack types in the burp suite intruder is a similar having multiple sniper attacks running simultaneously. We are sniper uses the payloads to test all position and the pitchfork utilize our payload set per position is over here is um the maximum of the 20 is over here the what is maximum is equal to 20 is definitely so if you are using here the i got it before pitchfork you can check it the twice on um, the payload here and then what is um the giving the payload marker at the here so if you are um, adding the two payload marker is over here like that for the username password and you can check it pillow for the username is password is here is definitely so if you are adding your username to your payload marker it will definitely give you for the four first payload is then the understanding about the username about the payload marker and if we are adding your payload marker at the password and you can check it that the payload last is understanding for the payload set is two is over here directly guy all right so now we are understanding pitchfork again so um the it's um the cluster bump you are definitely not using cluster bump is here all right but if you want to be cluster bombing here and then you will just understanding how the username password and then if actually the cluster bump is um that really is equal to with their name is cluster bomb but is just using for guy to the bombing about the like uh, thinking like the city and then you can check in the cluster bomb for the giving too many values about your first attacking here directly mm -hmm. so it's important things is actually guys to hear guy the as shown is request number and request body is over here directly so you can check it it here so there is too many value you will have to be checking it for example, you if you have the ten uh, hundred lines, the, the two lines, and the third contains, is could be our payload is equal to six thousand is over here. Definitely, you can check it, it like that. The cluster mom is really good, but really take your time to match. Is definitely. So now introduction attack types is over here. We are uh, um, the understanding here the attack types to here. Now we are understanding sniper battering ram and then um, the pitchfork the cluster bump and the how they are working at the sniper battering ram pitchfork cluster bump to here for the attack types so we are have to be checking or the the attack types to here and how it's gonna be working like this so intelligently at the or hacking simulation and the hacking scenario so you are have to be checking your if you want to be brute force attacking at the website you have to be select your um the attack types is like here definitely to be um the so intelligently what attack type is cycles the throw of the payloads intercepting payload into the inch each position definite the request is over here it's um, definitely a sniper you know what it is so now it's time to be check it practical example is over here and then we have to be go here and then check it usernames and the passwords txt and then starting here brute force attack here directly so we have to be go here so let me checking all of things to here again and then go here this url about the login url at about this web server and there's definitely you have to be starting with is i'm um, sending this request and i mean so this um at the request method is over here on your proxy tab so it's like here so let me intercept is own and turn on your flex proxies over here for example is username is admin 
and the password is password is like your you can check it out so if you already click on the login page it will definitely give you here post method because of the login or logout for the at the web server the api with the working on the past post method and you have to be understanding here directly guy all right so now we are now how we can using um the with the username is password now we have to be check it them for the is actually here guys um to you know um to brute first attack so you have to you just have to be using your controller i is over here and intercept the zone again and the turn off the fox proxy is over here is definitely so now you have to be checked username is password list at is over here with this um the command so i do it so CD documents and um, the I got before Bastion hosting crash zip you have to be on the bit it and you will see their username is password txt for the we have to be uploading it at the payload and at the pitchfork method so now we have to be understanding so you know we have a username txt is over here and then uh, and then we have the password txt but we have no idea which password and which username has this password so we have to be starting here preferred attack username and password so you have to be giving your payload marker is here username and the password so we are not just brute force attacking here about the password so because of that you have to be checking your attack type is pitchfork the pitchfork is attacking at the two payload is over here because you are choosing here payload, mar payload marker for the two value is over there definitely so the first payload is definitely have to be actually equal to here guys the username so the before we do this we have to be go load and you have to be check it here usernames txt is over there and then this is or payload sets about the or username so we have no idea about the which username has his password so we or have to be checked or uh, first of all, first of all or username is over here is it definitely for the second one the payload set you have to be go to load and you just have to be check it here passwords txt is over there is definitely so if you are starting attack is over here the burp set is um the uh trying the old username the old password is here definitely and the, you will see the here to result about the real result is over here and that is actually is asking us what is the real username is password is over here so we just have to be waiting for uh, ending about this um, brute force attack <coughs> all right you can check it here the length and if the which length is different here this is the answer all right so you can check it here for if they are secure their login page for the different method the method have to be actually here again um to you know as um you know um to or meta is could be or actually here guys um the status code is equal to 200 but they are now using animato for the their login security login page and we are just looking for is which link is accepting for the username is password and we are finding here username and the over username is over here and the rivera rivera i don't know how can i spell and then the password is let me in one so it's like here definitely let me in one is over there definitely so you just have to be copy this and then go here and then the paste it here is the submitted for the correct answer here directly so i think you are understanding now how the brute force attack is working on the burp suite is over here directly and if you're checking all lengths to here there's all of the difference but the one of one of them is um the different is length is equal that and you will see understanding it says the username is password so if you don't believe me you can check it on the login pages here definitely so let me using here 
and then the password is left in one and then you will see here this is working now so the risk practical challenge is over there we have to be working so having gained access to support system we now have to be opportunity to explore its functionalities to see what actions we can perform upon accessing by the home interface we are presented with table displaying various tickets clicking on any real redirects which page where can be complete the ticket by examining the bio url structure we observe that this page or number in the following format is over here now we are checking here the some support method for example if zero day was here is a ticket id is equal to six and they are using here the for the number uh, for the directory its number so you can check it the or number is all of things to here is over here with the number so we are just looking into the different number is over here but we are just now three number is over there right and that is correct so um to investigate further we will utilize tool fuzzing out the here so now we have to be using intruder again but do this is not brute force attack for the username password we just have to be using or fuzzing on the brute force attacking for the fuzzing of the here the number of the support directory here directly so we are you know just we are just looking for the here guys the, um the fuzzing at this support and the tickets at this url is definitely so that means or we just have to be one value for the fuzzing so the attack type is could be or equal to sniper is here definitely so you should find the list of five tickets field returned with status code is 2000 indicated by the that exact so we have to be check a story values of between one and a hundred is here all right we have to be starting here or value is and from the one to an hundred so we have to be actually doing before send this request of this interception method with intercepting method at or burp suite is here definitely and you have to be using a controller i is over there definitely for the sending intruder these tabs so you just have to be you definitely have to be using here a sniper method because we are just have to one value we have to be analyzing here and then is you have to be adding your pillow marker is over here which and what will you have to be fuzzing at here so now we are ready for the fuzzing to value about the support ticket and number so we have to be actually guys to here um then giving the payload at this not simple list it could be our numbers it's starting with this one two is a hundred and then it's still giving a payload count is like here a hundred and then which one is equal to here status code is equal to 200 and it will giving us this real page to here is definitely what's how we can using it this um, payload method is over here now if you are starting it and you will see there are 200 status codes like here is definitely and if you are checking your status code is um six has and the status code is um the six has and the 200 status code here and it has to be on the you know the let me sh show you guys to go back is um the 57 have to be equal to status code is um uh, 200 but there's a 47 i'll let them check it for a seven all right it's definitely could be like 47 is giving us this nothing all right so we just have to be checking here the another method is 57 yes that is 57 is open here yes we can check it in another ticket here and then we are just waiting for another ticket for the flag is equal to 78 so let me go visit the 78 but there is nothing for us again so let me check in here 83 and then if you are checking the 83 is over here you can check it here the flag here definitely like that so now we are all gonna understanding how the intruder is work then there is just one more step is if their website and um, you know is secure with the any um the methoding with accessory like that is definitely so now 
we have to be go here admin login page is like here definitely so or the intruder attack is now is um discord because we, we are ending it so we have to we just have to be go here admin login directory for the administration login page is here definitely but if you are checking it at the proxy you will see there there is too many value of the administrator and the password is here there is a one more value is equal to is login token is over here and they are using cookie session is over here like that so you cannot actually starting here um the brute force attack with this just giving here payload marker is over here because the and when you are uh, so we had just had to be go here in shoulder and repeater and test up this own so when you are trying the old username password is over here the the login token will be changed because they are using the csrf is over here so we have to be just checking here the admin login page is over there definitely so before do this we have to be go intruder here now we are now we have to be actually starting attack on the username and the password yes we know that but we have a know how we can working with at the login token is over here so before we do this the switch over category the main settings the right the verb and the click the session category so we have to be checking what the session category is over here so yes we are working um on the username and password for the brute forcing but the before do this we have to be check it the csrf is over there so you just have to be go here the settings and the click on the session methods and if you or the the scroll down is over there you will see here the macros so we have to be adding here the rule about the macros is could be or definitely is um to equal to your admin login method in here with this get methods all right you just have to be checking here get method not post method all right so you just have to be checking here the get method is over here and the, your macro editor could be equal that and the, if you are click it 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 will definitely give you a sad cookie is over here and then it's definitely save us for the um the login token is just one value is over here so we just have to be giving here the um the, okay now we are checking here for the csrf tokens is over here now we are now is they are using our csrf tokens we are just now about to here login token is over there so we have to be bypassing login token it with the csrf because this is csrf login token and why we are using here the settings session tab at the macros is over here now we are adding here our macros with this the get methoding tabs and the request on this or proxy tabs here definitely so when you are ending it this is not ending we have to be is definitely remove it yes i want to be checking it so let me add in here again you just have to be checking your admin page is okay is over here is definitely uh, it could be or equal to um, the macro too, it doesn't matter. But before they do this, actually, to here, guys, um, the, we have to be check it here. Is um, the checking here the rule pad? Um, so they are just uh, giving for the name, is um, the all right. So this is two basic things for the SSR CSRF. Now we are still on the session tab and we have to be go here to session and handling loans. We have to be adding your handling loans to here and this could be your rule description is could be your rule one. It doesn't matter. And the rule action is could be or equal to add. And the VR, if you are remember before checking here, the macro and then we have to be utilized into it. This. So you just have to be run the macro is over there. And then you are just update and only following parameters edit is could be R. What is equal to Burpsy Community Editions tabs for the um to login token is over here. Is it equal to login token and adding it? So for the update on the following cookies is could be R equal to is on uh, why we are checking it at the session tab, is it? So we have to be utilize it again so let me closing it and then give you just have to know macro selected as could be or equal that all right we are just um checking your ram macro is the ram macro is over here 
Are you sure want to be yes? And then you just have to be go um, to out to here. But to be further, this we have to be checking the different things. So let me uh, edit it. So we just have to be go scoping here because we are just working on target and we are just working on the intruder that scanner repeater repeater and target here and the use suite the copy you just have to be checking your uh, scope here you just have to be um, the editing it with this all right so now you can check it starting your um, click your ok we are done now you can check in here starting your attacks here directly so your attack is could be here it have to be equal to pitch for again so the first lap you just have to be checking here the username and for the second tab you have to be checking here the password is like that and you just have to be starting attack here directly so now we are understanding the burp suite and how we can use burp suite here Burp seed repeater, burp seed on um, the target, the target tapped here, and how we can using intruder and repeater, the most important things to hear. I know this is the burp suit, um, I know the all, this is the burp suit, um, the basic things, but the, uh, my goal is not to, under, um, to teach you the burp suit, guys. My goal is to uh, teach you. Um, to, uh, to Web Security Academy and uh, we are gonna be starting SQL Injection, XSS, CSR after all of things to hear about the Web Security Academy's payload and uh, the vulnerability and uh, before we do this we have to be understanding how we can using Burp Suite um, uh, we, we have to be you know actually how we can using Burp Suite basics and then we can go to Web Security Academy is over here and if you're using Windows or if you're using Line it doesn't matter you just have to be starting with Burp Suite Community Edition and then we are gonna be now the next video is equal to SQL Injection which is definitely Burp Suite and thank you for watching this video